Hi sweeties, I'm Sciency Sadie, your host of the Never Ending Cosmos, the show where we celebrate our love of cosmos by drinking cosmos. This week, we're asking the science question, is the earth rotating? YouTube loser, Fernie Boy, what? Oh. <clears throat> YouTube user Ferniboy100 claims to have proven that the Earth isn't moving based on research using a book called the Bible. Um, the Bible, which, by the way, is totally lacking in proper citations for serious. But before you jump to the conclusion that this dude is a total dumbass, spoiler alert. Let's remember that most people thought the Earth was stationary until my homeboy Galileo came along. Because it totally seems like the Earth isn't moving. Except for me, I can like totally always tell the Earth's moving. But basically, the flaw in Fernie Boy 100's experiments... <laughs> sorry, sorry, sorry. The flaw in his experiment <laughs> is he doesn't realize that the planet's atmosphere and the objects on the planet are all moving along with it. It's like when you're cruising super fast in your Ferrari and drop something. It just falls to the floor, right? Instead of like crashing into the back of the window at the insane speed you're driving at. But if you put the top down, it's like a totally different story. So, in conclusion, Fernie Boy 100, total dumbass. Today's guest is Jenny Lawson. Hi, Jenny. Hi. I'm Jenny Lawson, and I live on the internet. I've been there. It's nice. Now, I'm told you're an expert on Schrodinger's experiment. Sort of. What kind of background do you have in quantum mechanics? A little bit of research because I do think that it's important that you find out about what you're talking about before you actually um, give your opinion on it. Like, wow, do you study at Stanford, MIT, Berkeley? I got most of this from the internet. That's good too. And based on your research, you've determined that the Schrodinger's cat experiment is, like, totally invalid? It sounded bad. I know, right? Things that sound bad aren't good. But now you're saying you actually want to do the experiment, like, for realsies, on a whole bunch of cats to get, like, statistically significant results? And this will, like, settle the question once and for all? I think. I could be wrong. Well, like, that's why we totally do experiments, right? But what do we do with all the cats after we're done with the experiment? Because, you know, some of them aren't going to make it. Ew. I don't know what you're supposed to do. Okay, well, like, we'll work out the details later. What we need to do first is round up, like, a ton of cats. And that's where my viewers come in, right? What would you like to say to any folks out there that want to help? Do it for the cats. You heard her. We need, like, cats. Lots and lots of cats. And some Schrodinger boxes. And probably some cat food and kitty litter, I guess. So, get all that stuff and send it to Jenny Lawson on the internet. Where she lives, apparently. Viewer mail time! JFX writes, Fool me twice. Won't happen again. Got suckered in and thought this would be a real interview with Dr. Plate. Oh, JFX, I don't know, like, what you're talking about. All our interviews are totally, totally real. Honest. Wait. Fool me twice? Won't happen again. Is that you, George W? 
Shinigami Chalolo. Shinigami Chalo writes, Thank you, Sansi Seti. I used to only love the cosmos, but now I also love cosmos. By the way, it'd be awesome to see more of Mr. Quackers, the Cairo Quackter, and his adventures. Well, like, I can't promise anything, but maybe Mr. Quackers will show up in future episodes. We're currently in contract negotiations, but someone is being a bit of a diva. No, you are, asshole. Oh, you heard me. No, you're the drama king. Oh yeah? Well, bring it on, mother-